Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Shorty family reunion. I'm sorry. Hold on. Go. It's a shorty family reunion. We're going to shoot them. Ready? Let's go. Shoot them. Oh! <laughs> I'm got, so happy I recorded You got to keep that. that. That's awesome. First of all, first of all, you guys don't need to shoot anything unless I get it on camera. <laughs> so you jinxed it. So you jinxed it. That's here's what, what we're doing. These guys built some real short guns. One's a 308. And one is a 5.56, five, and we're gonna see, does short really work? <laughs> we'll see, you just got a little preview. Let's get all into it right now. 308 and 5.56, five, here we go. Ready? Yep. Fire! I'm not getting it. Is it working? Yeah. Hold on. We're getting one at a time, is it? Yeah. I think we're getting, I think an answer, a very scientific answer wow. is coming up right now. How about some That's what you guys are witnessing. Uh, <laughs> we're going to let them shoot this a little bit more and then we're, we're actually going to uh -oh. talk about these guns. What is it? I know it looks cool and you know they, it, it uh, makes big uh, big yet. fireballs <laughs> but uh, is it very practical? Does it work? Uh, I think you're getting an answer but let's keep digging. Let's keep digging. De like a dead, dead trigger. Yeah. I mean it, it, it fired but nothing happened. Yeah, I don't know. I lube mine. I know when I after I lube mine up in the so shop. So Walt, in the little break there, you hit this with some lube, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see how this. It wasn't we'll slamming see how all the way goes. forward a couple of times. So I go boom, boom, and then and I had to give it like if I had a forward assist, a tap. Mm -hmm. All right. So listen, what I want to talk to folks about here is why do you guys have these little tiny? This is a 308. Why yeah. this little tiny? Uh, 308 and then why, why this little tiny 556 let's start with that right all right well i think that's a good place to start well, rich can tell you the story behind that one so that was part of a competition we had who could build the shortest ar with a couple of constraints but it had to have a buffer tube a gas system fly fire a rifle cartridge mm -hmm. so this is just a smidge shorter than 15 and a half inches stem when to you say we who are we talking about in this we so john crump dark and uh swamp dog okay. we had a contest who could mm -hmm. build the shortest now swamp dog was like 15 and a quarter inches okay so he beat me oh, so this did. is the second shortest oh so you didn't even win even though even you win. and walter cheated you can come we didn't over cheat. here well let's talk about the cheating first of all let's have the all's okay. first thing i say all's fair in love and war you ever hear that that <laughs> comes that thing you know so uh, well okay uh, i there was, was merely, no rules about going to a manufacturer i merely but, consulted on it Oh, okay. <laughs> I was cons I was hired as a consultant. Oh, now, okay. I didn't forge all the metal for the gun either, so right. John might call me, you know, cheating on that. Uh, okay, so look, let's take a look at the gun. First of all, I notice it has a very attractive uh, Hank Strange Hang logo. Hang on, back right? away, back away. Let's get to the let's get to the meat of things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Also, so these are some uh, lowers that you sold at Safety yes. Harbor Special Limited Edition. 
with the Hank Strange logo. Correct. Yes, we do. Right. And, yes, uh, and Rich got one of those. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Rich. Yep. Appreciate that. Um, I didn't get any royalty checks from Walt, but okay. <laughs> you get a check. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Walt. Yes, sir. What is it that you did differently here? Like uh, this, this back in the back end, I, uh, I make a shortened carrier, and we have a, our, on our compact entry stock, mm -hmm. we, we make a shortened carrier, a shortened buffer, and a shortened tube. Mm -hmm. This particular one has a shorter tube and an even shorter buffer, I mean, bolt carrier. So you made a special buffer. tube for this. Are you selling it? I could, yes. That's, that's what went through my mind, just to keep this all uh, legal within the rules. Of yes, exactly. <laughs> Amalgamated. It was a prototype. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, <laughs> right. The front end here. The front end here was from CAC Industries. Oh, okay. K A K. They're out mm -hmm. in California. They do this mm -hmm. shorty handguard, and the barrel was about that much longer, and we cut the threads off. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so there were so. threads on the barrel. Yes. Yeah, so there were threads. Yes. Okay. What else? What did you do with this, Rich? Obviously, you went to Walt and you got your. <laughs> Your tube I, I drove the roll pins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you did? Yes. <laughs> Is that really it? Are you serious? Some reason yeah. I can't remember that. But anyways. Um. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, now you were just shooting it, Rich. What do you think is the issue with this? Because I think I've I, seen on your social media you've yeah, been shooting we it. We shot it in the bullet trap in the shop. Worked fine. He mm -hmm. shot a video in his At backyard. My, yeah. Worked fine. Come out. It's got, it's got, it's got it's performance, got performance anxiety. anxiety anxiety or something. I don't know. It's the Hacienda, man. You know? it's, We're your, it it's your awesomeness. To, yeah, if something's going to go wrong, this was a former Indian you, yeah. uh, graveyard. But we're going to do like you do a lot of times. You have performance anxiety. We're going to lube it up really well. Right. And, uh, <laughs> it doesn't for, always uh, help, but okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it looks good, though. Oh, it looks awesome. I've had, yeah. on Instagram, I mean, my phone is still beeping in the middle of the night. People going, hey, that's cool. Where can I get it? Da, 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 da. Shoot it. Show us some shoot. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I was like, oh. Yeah. All right. Let's switch over to Walters. Let's bring that back here okay. and put Walters. This is the 308 up. And yeah. we'll talk about this. So what was going on here? I think you made this after, uh, after Rich yeah, after and, Rich's. and Dark and John yeah. and This uh, is no competition everyone. aside yeah. to, to myself. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with making these short little barrels is it, it, when the gun fires, it, is it mm -hmm. called a dwell angle or dwell time? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have enough time for the pressure to drop to extract the cartridge without ripping it out or ripping the, the extractor off the back of the case. Okay. So what I did was, and this is what this did when I first built it. Mm -hmm. So I added an adjustable gas port. Mm -hmm. and a uh, pigtail um, gas tube, which oh, okay. is just wrapped oh, around yeah, it. I can see it's kind of like... It's longer, it's carbine length in, the, in a pistol mm -hmm. barrel length. Mm -hmm. And what that does, it, it lowers the dwell time. And with that and some adjustment, it does run. I shot this in the bullet trap in, in the shop. It was working fine, got out here. It's working three quarters of the time. It just wasn't closing all the way, so I lubed it up. We're going to give it another try. Okay. And so is this your regular length? Though? No. This okay. is this is a shorter buffer tube. I don't remember where I got this from. I acquired it someplace in my... Oh, so this is not even yours? No, it's, it's not, not even Nothing mine, you no. guys make. Okay. I have... Um, after the, the carrier's cut off, and then I have my buffer in it and my and a shortened spring. Okay. And then you're on an Alpha Wolf. Yeah, that's just a brand of uh, 308 okay. lower that I had. So. Yeah. But yeah, I took a 12 inch barrel, cut it down to seven, and mm -hmm. did this to it. And um, yeah. What kind of reception were you getting for people? You're crazy? Yeah, or there's. They want one? There's, What's there's, the a, I want it, I gotta have it. Uh, you're nuts. Why'd you do this? There's no accuracy, <laughs> there's no feet per second. This yeah. is not about feet per second. And actually, this is about fun. It's about the fireball. Yeah, I mean, it is a big fireball. Yeah, so yeah. it's just for fun. Yeah. It's not meant to be uh, anything else. Right. So. Listen, if you get smiles on your face, man, what's that worth? It's it's worth a good night's sleep. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, Rich, come on in, Rich. You could come in. Yep. So, I think you were you just lubing yours up? Yep, lubing it up. Okay, cool. So, uh, why did you do it, man? Other Obviously, you guys did the competition, but why are you still shooting this thing? Why uh, don't you just take it apart? And I just think it's funny as all get out to okay. have a short AR. Mm -hmm. I mean, it fits in a 15-inch laptop bag. Mm-hmm. It's stupid concealable, mm -hmm. and I just like the looks of it. So do you think there's any kind of like practicality or anything like that? Uh, if your flashlight's out? <laughs> None. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no practicality. Well, the, the thing is, reliability is sometimes an issue with this. So, you know, if you say practical, I want, if I'm going to use it for like, well, first thing, the barrel's so short, without hearing protection on, it's deafening. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, this thing goes off. 
Oh yeah. You can feel it thumping your chest going. It's, mm -hmm. it's more than a 50 cal in my opinion. I shoot 50 It sounds cal, like so. a 50. Oh yeah. I doubled up yeah. and it's loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm it's, deaf anyway, so it doesn't make Yeah. So what yeah, I was going to do... You think it's worse that Walt thinks it's worse than a 50 cal. Is I want to get like a 50. the uh, 300 blackout mm -hmm. subsonic rounds in a can. Wow. That's... that's would be yeah, reasonable. That would be, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that'd make a little bit more sense. How long is your barrel again? Uh, well, <laughs> the whole length from here it's fifteen and seven sixteenths. This inches. was four and three quarters, I think, when we started. So it's about okay. four inches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Platform four and three quarters. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's let these guys do some more shooting. Let's see how it works, right? Yeah. Let's yep. try it again. Okay. After I lubed her up. Yep. All right, cool. The main thing is getting it to run. Yeah. Through that whole mag without stopping and. But I think I'm gonna give your drum some more holes you're, in it just for. Now. Okay. Wait, hold on. All right, go for it. Are we ready? Yep, ready. All right, walk and roll. Wetter is bad. I actually got injured. Let, let me just say one thing. Oh, hell yeah. Oil it well. Look at that. Look. What do you got? <laughs> Shell casing? casing hit me. Oh, it did? Yeah. Now, this thing could probably come out of here like crazy. Yeah. The first, like the first shell casing hit me right there and nicked it. It's not that bad. It just stings like a Well, that was a that's whole why, magazine. That's why I ducked. Huh? That's why I ducked. Hold on. You gotta take a picture <laughs> of it. See that oil? That's what the, that was yeah. the key. Oh my gosh. Roll into the video, huh? Well, go put your finger in front of the video. Still rolling. That was actually oh. just over. Little Nick. Little Nick. It's a little bit of blood. So were they coming straight at you, the cases? That's yeah. So that's the video. Bring it, at least three or finger. four of them deflected off my hand, huh? Okay. Go for it. Get back to the fight, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> do some more lube. Ah, uh, yeah. No, Something else going on. All right, I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we good? Yep. Okay. All right, well. Ready? rounds okay yeah you push yours yours is gone dang you guys clear rich is not done he's not giving up yet <laughs> yep, that was it he switched out you switched ammo to some fort scott right you still yep. getting that yeah. yeah it's not closed all the way Use your forward assist. Yeah, you still got that gap yeah, there. Yeah, still, so. uh, but now it's got a round stop. Oh. Got a round stop oh, in the thing. It's get totally, clean. yeah, it's jammed like last That's time. That's what it did before, yeah. Oh, there you go. You got oh, it hey, out. Rich, let me get my uh, brush in uh, this. It's, let's, um, do you have some material in there? Let's, let's clean the chamber out. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're trying this one more again, again. Again, again. But we cleaned it out, right? Yep. And boom, last round hold open. Yep. So will it eat the other round? It's dirty fast. And that was it. Dirty boar. There you go. <laughs> not, not, nothing like a nothing like a, 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 a chamber brush. Yeah. So yeah. let's wrap this up, guys. Here. So this is like a really this is a real rough and tumble video that we're all doing here. I think what you what you see here is a, a lot of your issues that you would have with a, a bigger gun. It goes up when you go to a smaller gun, right? Everything does. Yeah. But it's worth like lubing it or cleaning it, lubing it. 
part of the part of the All thing of, of building the little bitty guns is just getting it getting it to work. Yeah, that's the challenge. Yeah. yeah. So. so the chamber was stupid dirty. Yeah. Right. Because there's a stupid amount of unburnt powder and a stupid amount of crud and garbage. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure people are out there like. And Why are you doing that? A stupid, Why are you doing that? Why are you stupid that? amount of gun guys. You don't, have, you don't have any feet per second. That's gonna tumble. <laughs> I didn't build it because that. You see that fireball? That's yeah. why I built it. So. Yeah, that is fun. That is very cool. How you guys feel now? It's fun. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Worth the pain and and everything. Yeah. It's a learning curve when you do stuff like this. Yeah. Anybody can build an AR-10. Anybody can build an AR-15. But to get a one of these little sh shorty things to run, mm -hmm. not everybody can do that. Yeah. Well, so you talk about on. how you got that to run the pigtail right, and the right. gas. Mm -hmm. You could have a pig. Well, no, you can't. Yep. Because they don't make this pigtail is pistol length. So mm -hmm. you can put this on any pistol, mm -hmm. and you can buy it. It's I forget the name of the company, but just look up Pigtail; it'll pop up. Mm -hmm. And an adjustable gas block. That's what I did there. So, so I could tune the gas and then get more dwell time, and oil the crap out of it, and it works. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta run it wet. Yep. Clean. Oh, by the way, I got I got a little boo boo <laughs> from uh, shell casings. Shell casing hit them out of this. Uh, Those shell casings are coming out fast. Oh yeah. Yeah. And even to be honest, the 556 five, sounds like a 50 cal. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> obnoxious, yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is the big downside of that. Uh, what happens if we put cans on these? You guys know? <laughs> I mentioned this to David Slayer, Liberty Suppressor, and he mm -hmm. said, no, 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 no. Yeah. Not it'll a it'll destroy a can. Yeah. Exactly. There's just too much going on. You'd have to build a behemoth of a can mm -hmm. to do it, and you kind of defeat the purpose of the whole thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I and think. And they have no fireball in it. Come on. What right. that? That's true. That's true. That's true. So, uh, you know, there you go, guys. If you want to, to find out more from Flying Rich, where do you go, Rich? Flyingrich.com or YouTube.com slash Flying Rich. Oh, awesome. There you go. What about you, Walt? People uh, want to know more. I Irons on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and uh, some parts. And uh, are you going to actually make some stuff here? You know, I some might of make short some things? of the stuff more for the Rich. We, we make some of yeah. the stuff already, but I, mm -hmm. this is extra short. Mm -hmm. I won't be doing 308 stuff, but I might do some of this. Okay. And then you can, whether you have a 10 inch barrel or 12 or whatever, you can just have a short tube. So yeah. yeah. So there you go. So you guys can check out Safety Harbor Firearms for that. Big thanks to these guys for hanging out here on the range with me today. We're having fun. It's a nice, yeah. it's not so bad in Florida, no you know, yeah. We're in no, uh, late yet. November. Not yet. A little bit of humidity, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, we're never it's getting humid, rid of, yeah, yeah we're not, yeah. not getting zero percent humidity. Right. We, never. You know, we'll never get we'll that in Florida. <laughs> but anyway, it was great shooting this with you guys. If you guys enjoy this, if you hate it or whatever, send all the hate yeah, and, to and Safety and Harbor Fire. Get, get a chuckle on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the mag, mag falling out too. That yeah. Was, uh, Oh, that was my that was You're my favorite. Run that at the end or what? That Stay was my favorite part. Oh, I'm just gonna put it in there. No, I'm gonna let it drop the and then reverse the, the, and come the back. Part, the funny part. No, that's going right in oh. from the beginning, man. Oh. Right in from the beginning. <laughs> Dessert first. <laughs> We're out of here. We'll see you guys see in the you. next one. Peace. Make sure to check out hamstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.